Hey, it's Jordan with TYT here in L.A. for the week, uh, doing some stuff for TYT politics. I'm going to go down some of the primaries for the week and also talk about the uh, CNN town hall tonight, uh, what to expect and what should be asked. Uh, first, Bernie Sanders actually won a primary abroad. Uh, he won the global presidential primary, which got him nine delegates. Hillary Clinton got four. Uh, according to the party, votes were cast by close to 35,000 people, uh, U.S. citizens from around the world, um, living in 38 countries. Sanders received 69% of the vote. Clinton received 31%. So not going to see it on the mainstream media that much, but he won pretty pretty large, large margin and uh, got nine delegates. Tomorrow's the Arizona primary on the GOP and Democratic side. Uh, Trump's up 46% to Cruz's 33%. Clinton, in the last poll I saw in Arizona, is at 50%. Uh, Bernie is at 24%. That's a very, very wide margin. Uh, it's not going to be that, that big of a defeat. But uh, I think Hillary might win Arizona, but it's going to be close. Idaho is tomorrow as well. And uh, I haven't seen any polls. Utah is a primary tomorrow. Bernie Sanders up 52%. Hillary Clinton at 44%. On the Republican side, Cruz 42%. Trump 21%. On Saturday, uh, there's a, three caucuses which really helped Bernie Sanders. You got Alaska, Hawaii, and Washington State. Uh, on the Washington State part of that, he Sanders was in Washington State on Sunday. 17,000 people were at his rally. So I think you're going to see Bernie win Washington State. I'm not a Hawaii expert, but Hawaii, Alaska, you could see Bernie win because Bernie does well in caucuses. He won Minnesota. He won Colorado. He pretty much won Iowa, if you if you want to call it uh, a tie. It was a tie, but he almost won. Um, so big states this week. I think Bernie might actually win more than Hillary. I think he's going to win Idaho. I think he's going to win Utah. I think he's going to win all three of those caucuses. The key is, for a lot of you people who ask me what does Bernie have to do, to really put a dent in it, he's got to not just win, he's got to win big. He's got to win by at least, I'd say, 60% to 40% in a lot of these states to start uh, really cutting away at her delegate lead, but also get the media to start to stop basically saying it's over and start, stop starting their segments with, what's Hillary gonna, how is Hillary Clinton going to defeat Donald Trump? Uh, so Bernie has to kind of change the equation. Now, there's a town hall tonight on CNN, the 175th town hall. Um, and it has all five candidates, so it's going to talk to Ted Cruz, Donald Trump, John Kasich, Hillary Clinton, and Bernie Sanders. Bernie's the actu only the only candidate who actually won't be there. Uh, there he's going to be on the campaign trail and come in via satellite. Um, here's a, I, I think it's important to talk about what CNN is not going to ask. I could almost assure you that they should ask, but uh, most of these town halls are basically a, a, a nice uh, session of politicians having tea with CNN anchors. Uh, I think they should ask Trump, uh, can you talk about the fact that your campaign manager is grabbing reporters and protesters and pulling them to the ground? Uh, Trump has actually been defying, uh, defying video and saying this, these things are not happening. Trump's campaign manager over the weekend literally yanked a protester uh, by the collar. Uh, two weeks ago, he literally pulled a reporter and almost pulled her to the ground. She had bruises. Uh, Trump's response, th these things didn't happen. When video was shown to him, these things didn't happen. I'd like to see if CNN pushes him on the fact that his campaign manager is essentially assaulting reporters and protesters. Um, on Ted Cruz, I'd like CNN to ask him, you know what, you claim to be, you know, this, this champion of the Constitution, so why is uh, it important to stick with the Constitution, but right now you're telling Republicans to, you know, ignore it and deny President Obama his constitutional right to nominate a Supreme Court justice and uh, the Senate to actually hear, uh, have, have hearings and vote on it. Ted Cruz is a, you know, a constitutionalist when it's convenient for him. I'd like CNN to push him. Uh, I'd like CNN to push Hillary Clinton on the fact that she's having a fundraiser with a discredited pharmaceutical company. Uh, there's a company named Theranos who's come under fire in recent months for uh, they, they like to push and, and really celebrate their great blood testing. Um, that's what they're known for, blood testing. It's come out that their blood testing practices are very, very shady. They're not as, they're not as exact as Theranos has claimed, and there's been a lot of examples where they're completely wrong. Um, and they, the company has come under huge fire. Hillary Clinton's doing a fundraiser with them. 
She's also uh, saying now that she's against fracking while she's uh, taking in money from private equity institutions that invest heavily in fracking. I wonder if CNN will ask about that. And real quick, I want to urge you to go to youtube.com slash TYT politics. We just, we just hit over 3 million views. Uh, we're closing in on 30,000 subscribers. TYT politics, that's youtube.com slash TYT politics. I just put up a few videos. We put up a promotional video that shows the last few months of me on the trail. Uh, there's also a couple of videos with uh, a Bernie Sanders campaign advisor, uh, the host of Family Feud on Mundo Max, who's supporting, supporting Bernie Sanders, and several videos where we spoke with uh, Donald Trump supporters uh, in Ohio. And I, there's nothing I could say about those videos. Just watch. Uh, stay tuned for more. I'll be in L.A. all week.